The biggest news in the NFL has recently been, obviously, the NFL draft. You can't miss that. Um, but Josh Rosen, I did not cover a video on this simply because I had work a lot last week, and this trade went down, I believe, Friday of last week or Saturday. But I was going to make a video. I seen the news when I was at work. just simply couldn't make a video. Um, and then kind of forgot about it. But I kind of wanted to talk about this Josh Rosen thing because I think a lot of people do not see the situation Josh Rosen was in with the Arizona Cardinals last year. And I do believe that hopefully I can give you guys a better understanding of why people are bashing Josh Rosen. This is exactly why people are bashing Josh Rosen. He did not play well with the Arizona Cardinals last season. In fact, he had one of the toughest rookie seasons any quarterback has really seen in their rookie year. He had a terrible rookie season. I mean, multiple interceptions. He was hit multiple times. Uh, you know, not only that, but the Arizona Cardinals offensive line is garbage. Um, and another thing is that receivers on the Cardinals couldn't get open last year. Larry Fitzgerald's washed. Um, I'm pretty sure we can all agree on that. Um, but I do got to give it to Arizona. My draft crush last year out of Texas A&M was wide receiver Christian Kirk. I really, really liked Christian Kirk coming out of college, and I really wanted the Niners to get him last year in the second round. But instead we got Dante Pettis, and he's turned out to be an absolute stud. So it's kind of a win-win. Um, but either way, uh, Josh Rosen. So we traded to Miami for a second-round pick, and I believe – I think it was a 64th overall pick in this year's draft. And then I believe – Arizona gave Miami a fifth round as well. Um, so will Josh Rosen succeed Miami? Well, obviously, because of him in Arizona, because of the offense line, he had a terrible rookie season. So a lot of people just kind of went off his statistics in Arizona and pretty much put the title on him that he was trash. Now, Josh Rosen is a very bad quarterback. Um, he's proved himself to be a bad quarterback in this league by being drafted by the Arizona Cardinals, but it's not his fault Considering, you know, he, he his offensive line was trash. He had a very, very awful um, coaching staff. Just a team in general. Um, Josh Rosen being traded to the Dolphins gives Josh Rosen, Josh Rosen every opportunity in the world to succeed in the NFL. Here's why. Miami has a better overall team than the Arizona Cardinals. I'm sure half NFL fans can agree with that. Miami is more of the better set up team than Miami or than Arizona is right now. Now, granted, I do love the move by Arizona going to get uh, Kyler Murray. I'm not bashing the Cardinals by this, but I'm just saying in general, Miami is at a better spot to succeed right now than the Arizona Cardinals are. Being one being, you know, they got Ryan Fitzpatrick compared to Kyler Murray. Kyler Murray's a rookie. Ryan Fitzpatrick's a veteran. Experience does make a difference in the league. So, but not only that, just the overall team and the coaching staff. Miami is set up to succeed succeed right now, um, and I would take them over to succeed. If I had to take a gander on, if I was placing money down to say who would have the better season next year, Miami or the Arizona Cardinals, I'm going to pick the Miami Dolphins. And I, I, you might think I'm crazy, but I just feel like Miami, their division is tough. You know, they're over there in the AFC East. Their division is very tough. Are they in the East? They're not in the South. Yeah, I think they're in the East. But their division is very tough. they got to play New England twice a year. Um, you know, the Jets have gotten better over the season. But if I had to take a gander... But look at the NFC West, too. The Miami Dolphins, the Jets aren't a contender. And I hate when people are saying just because they got Le'Veon Bell makes them a contender. The only reason why Le'Veon Bell was so good in Pittsburgh was because of the offensive line he had. He will not do as good with the New York Jets. Look at his quarterback. It's Sam Darnold. Come on. Um... But either way, in the NFC West, you know, you got Kyler Murray, you got, um, and then look at Kyler, look who Kyler Murray's facing next year. He's, he's facing the Niners. The Niners are going to be a better team next year. Do I think they're going to go to the Super Bowl? Absolutely not. Do I think they're a playoff contender? Absolutely. I think they have all the pieces in the world to make this team a playoff contender, as long as if we can stay with injuries. But I'm back on track to Josh Rosen. Josh Rosen's in a perfect position. Here's why. He's got a veteran quarterback to be a mentor for him. Ryan Fitzpatrick. He's been in, league, been in the league and been with multiple organizations plenty of times. And he's going to help Kyler Murray out to succeed in the NFL. Um, another thing, the Miami Dolphins offensive line is 10 times better than the Arizona Cardinals offensive line. I'm sure we can all say that. They've got, big, they got better names on the Miami offensive line. Miami offensive line is not 
insane good. I'm just saying they have a better offensive line than the Arizona Cardinals do. So Josh Rosen will succeed Miami. It just depends on if he can win the starting job against Ryan Fitzpatrick. If if new head coach for the Miami Dolphins, Brian Flowers, thinks that Josh Rosen won the starting job over Ryan Fitzpatrick, Josh Rosen, this is like a proving season. This is jo- All Josh Rosen has to do is go out and play his ass off and make the Cardinals regret trading him away. Um, but I, if I was in the Cardinals' position, 100% I would have drafted Kyler Murray, and I would do the same exact thing that the Arizona Cardinals did, trade away Josh Rosen and draft Kyler Murray. I think Kyler Murray fits in the Arizona scheme and the Arizona offense 10 times better than Josh Rosen did, and Kyler Murray is the right quarterback for Cliff Kingsbury's offense in Arizona. But Josh Rosen was traded to the Miami Dolphins. This is old news. I know I'm just making this video now because I didn't really cover it in my thoughts. But Josh Rosen has a better chance to succeed in Miami than he did in Arizona. And it's all up to him to make it happen. Now, if he comes out next year and he wins a starting job and he plays, you know, all 16 regular games and he still is trash, that's on him. He's a trash. He's, then he's officially titled a trash quarterback. But it's a new chapter for Josh Rosen. He's getting a better offensive line in Miami. You could argue and say that he's getting a better coach. I think that an offensive coach is better for a rookie quarterback than a defensive coordinator is. But either way, um, you guys get the point. Uh, but Josh Rosen traded the Miami Dolphins for a second-round pick. In exchange, the Miami Dolphins got quarterback Josh Rosen in a fifth-round pick. So Josh Rosen, I'm hoping the best for Josh Rosen. He was really put in a shitty situation. And the whole thing with Cliff Kingsbury – coming in and wanting Kyler Murray so bad. It's kind of just unfortunate for Josh Rosen. And honestly, Josh Rosen has every he has every point in the world to be pissed. But he needs to take that anger and leave it on the field and play his ass off, ne- play his ass off next season and try to win the starting job for the Miami Dolphins. But he has a very good shot, and I think Josh Rosen is in a better... I think Josh Rosen... How am, I, how am I supposed to put this in words? I think he's in a better position to succeed in the NFL being with Miami. So that's my thoughts on Josh Rosen being traded to the Miami Dolphins. And will he succeed if he wins a starting job with Miami? I hope so. I can't say, but I think he's in a better position to succeed with Miami than he was in Arizona.